So, I am up at the Little Rice ATV Trails here with my mother-in-law again. I think I've probably got the coolest mother-in-law out there there is. So we are out here at what time? 9.30 at night on a beautiful fall evening. And I decided I've got all the lights on here. Might as well make a video explaining why it is that I love to get out and ride at night. First thing, and one of the, I think the coolest things about night riding is that it is actually in some senses safer than riding during the day. And the reason I say that is even in kind of heavier leaf cover right now, you are more likely to be able to see oncoming traffic because their lights are gonna be lighting up the woods just like your lights are gonna be lighting up the woods way ahead of you. And obviously in heavy tree cover, that's maybe a little bit harder to see, but I can guarantee you, and speak from experience, you're gonna have a lot more warning at night than you ever do during the day. Next thing is kind of uh, another safety type thing, and that's the fact that there's just gonna be less traffic out here. There are fewer people that wanna ride at night, so you're not gonna run into as many people out here. The only thing is, both on the trail and on the road, the people that you do run into might be like you out just to enjoy the beautiful night air, but they might also be bar hopping. So definitely take that into consideration when you're seeing those lights coming at you. Being out at night, you will probably see a lot more wildlife. Most things like deer and uh, raccoons and uh, really just about anything, skunks, possums, they all kind of come out right at the sort of the dusk hour and then kind of just cruise around at night. So you have a much better chance of seeing those animals, which I think is awesome. Uh, I've definitely seen a lot more owls kind of flying around and actually using my headlights at night to catch their dinner. And I just think that's the coolest thing in the world to be able to be out here kind of in their world when it's nice and quiet and they're just out cruising around not expecting to see you. So obviously you have to be careful because you don't want to squish any of them or get squished by any of them, but I, I just have seen so many cool things out at night that you just don't see during the day. Oh, the heck was that? Mouse. This is how you know you're on the Little Rice ATV Trail. <laughs> oh my gosh. Funny thing is, is the rest of the trail look like this too. I don't know what the heck the deal is. They just gave up on grooming for the year? What? But I don't know what it is about this thing, but this is just like the coolest spot on this, this whole system, I think. I don't know if there's a couple spots like this. I think there might be. Ooh, not something you want to do quickly, that's for sure. <laughs> Like a champ. And you can enjoy the stars. Although, with all my bright lights, I, I'm a little uh, star blind, I guess. I can't see anything with <laughs> the amount of light that we've got going on the ground here. But you can always stop and have a gander up the stars. That's nice. I've kind of been trying to keep track of this behind me to see if this is true. But technically, as long as you're kind of getting close to the dew point anyways, when air cools down at the end of the day, the moisture content will sometimes kind of get squished out of it because air, depending on the temperature, can only hold a certain amount of moisture. And if you dip below that, which is what the, the dew point actually is, you're dipping below the, satu the point where the air is so saturated that it starts to kind of squeeze it out. And that's where you get the dew on the ground. So if you kind of hit that point or get even close to it, things are oh, a little bit less dry, which means when you're on the trail, which of course we're not now, we're on the pavement, you should get a lot less of a, a dusty trail ride than you would in the middle of the day, which is better for you, better for your machine, better for your visibility, just kind of better all around. Ah, oh, yeah, you can't beat that night air. That little bit of extra moisture in the air, I think just kind of brings out all the flavors and smell the pine trees and the wet dirt. It sure is cool. Now on a kind of cool day like today, the uh, the cooler air at night isn't necessarily a good thing. 
with a, a set of Carhartt bibs and my grip heaters on, I'm, I'm doing all right, and I, and I don't mind it. I'm, I'm actually really enjoying the cool night air. But in the middle of the summer, when it is 90 degrees out during the day, and you know more towards 60 or maybe 70 degrees at night, that cool is definitely a welcome change and a huge reason to plan your trip around a night ride rather than a day ride where you're dripping sweat and not enjoying it. You can get out in the, the night air and enjoy all the things I've said so far and not overheat yourself or your machine. So how about you guys? You get out and do this? What do you like most about night riding? Anything I said or is there something else that I forgot? Let me know. It's just so cool being out in just the the beautiful night nighttime world with your your headlight to guide you and that and that's it and uh, that that's just my final thing is it's just it's cool it's such a different experience everything looks so different i guess i don't know how much you guys notice or pay attention to that but even changing uh changing up the time you're going out riding during the day can drastically change what the forest looks like and coming out at night is just a totally different experience altogether uh it's it's just so cool it's it's so neat to be out here it's neat to to stop and you know listen for an owl or you know walk around slowly in the woods and hear all the night crawlers taking off under the from under the leaves down into the dirt it's it's just a, a cool cool time of night to be out and it's so neat i've actually been out just scouting with my brother uh i think we did it a couple times a couple years ago and I, for some reason i just i i always look back so fondly on that it's just it's so cool to be out here when nobody else is and just to be to be in this totally different world it's awesome so make sure you guys get out and ride do it safe though make sure you got plenty of bright lights i can put links down in the description for the videos where i installed the HIDs and the, the LED high beam that comes on, or the not the high beam, the LED light bar that comes on with the high beam. Uh, I can put that down in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care, stay safe, stay swanky. Like I said, make sure you get out and ride any chance you get. And until then, here's some more videos to check out in the meantime. Let's see, where is the nearest tavern? The Boomer Bar. Boomba? Boomba Bar? What is that, Boomba Bar? That seems weird. I'm just kidding. I think we're going to call it a night.